fresh juniors and low-end lovers. Uh, welcome to today's bass lesson. This is a kind of like a, a covering bass lesson, if you will. Um, just in case I didn't do enough, um, this is, will be there in the pile in the background, and I may or may not choose to upload it. And if I haven't chosen to upload it, I'm just talking to myself, really, which is a bit weird, kind of creepy. Anyway, this is kind of like a solely quick, um, solely bluesy thing. I guess I don't. I don't know. It's kind of like grungy as well. I guess like kind of rocky. It's rocky, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely rocky. First thing you can do is come to the ninth fret of the uh, E string with your ring finger. Hit it twice. Okay, and then you're going to come down to the seventh fret of the A string with your index finger. Hit it once, and then do an open A. Then come down to the sixth fret on the A string with your index finger. Do an open A. Come down to the fifth fret of the A string. Yeah, uh, doing all that with your index finger. And then come to the seventh fret of the A string with your ring finger. And then come to the fifth fret of the A string with your index finger. Sorry, the E string that was. That's, that's the seventh fret of the E string and the fifth fret of the E string with your index finger right there. So we go. I'm just applying it to a 12 bar. Yeah, you know, you can apply it to a 12 bar. If you don't know how to play a 12 bar um, and how to apply these riffs and these licks to a 12 bar, then there's a lesson for you to learn right there. Here you go, it shows you how to do that. Anyway, and you can apply that and you can have fun until the sun sets on your faces, my friend. Hope you enjoyed the lesson in some way and I shall see you in tomorrow's.